It's Christmas time, or at least it was when I started making this video because this year I was participating in a Maker Secret Santa with all of my friends. It's all the Iron Man people who I'm constantly talking to and hanging out with all across the nation. Uh, and this year I got this lovable idiot, Kenneth, and he is a massive Bionicle fan. Obviously I had to go and make and record this video before that and I couldn't release it till after he got his gift or well, there'd be no point and you wouldn't get to see his reaction at the end of the video. So we're gonna do a little bit of time traveling and I'm gonna show you guys how I 3D printed life-size wearable Bionicle masks for this year's Secret Santa. So let's jump right into it. We're gonna get right into the files because we have a lot to cover and it's gonna be an awesome reveal at the end. He loved the gifts and I can't wait to show you guys how I did it. Let's get started. Okay, so let's get started. First up, the files. Now, because the internet is a beautiful place, you can go right to Thingiverse, search Bionicle, and find the original masks, the Toa masks, which are just awesome. Go ahead, grab those, download them, and then you're gonna be met with a bunch of files, actually. There are the normal files and then a high poly version, and that'll make sense in a second if you don't know what I'm talking about. So these are the files you're gonna get, and they're the size of Bionicle masks. That's why you can print them and put them on, put them on your little Bionicles. And if I zoom into uh, the red one here, you can see this is the low poly version, and then you have our higher poly smooth version. And this is the case for most of the masks, except the white one. Um, it just, it, it still looks good. Uh, so print whichever one you want. Um, I actually want to print the low poly versions on some of them because I think that would look kind of cool with some of the uh, the silks, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So uh, yeah, let's move on. Now we need to scale these up and luckily I have a awesome 3D scan in my head. It is creepy as heck, but it is to scale. So now what I can do is I can drop this in mesh mixer if I want. I can load this into any program I need to, but what I can do is then drag one of these masks over here, go to the scale function, and then I can start blowing this up till the point where it covers my head. So as long as I'm moving everything around, let's see, let's drop my face through the build plate. So let's do, let's do like a half and then we can move the mask on top of it because me and Kenneth are about the same size. Uh, we're, we're pretty sure like the same height. His head isn't like massively bigger than mine. So if I make this to fit me, it should fit him. And I, I'm pretty sure he's just gonna put these on his wall anyway. I don't think he's gonna go to cons wearing these things. So we're just gonna scale this up until I feel like, all right, that's a good position for it. Something like that. Make sure nothing's colliding or hitting and uh, just rinse and repeat until I'm happy with the scale. Um, because of the different sizes of the mask and where I'm gonna have to glue in the magnets and stuff and kind of get everything attached, uh, I definitely am not gonna scale them all up the same. Uh, so just definitely, I'm gonna go through and just make sure they're all the right size, but they're probably gonna be different. Okay, here we are with the scaled up masks and I have them pre-positioned to exactly how I'm going to print them. Um, some of them are just flat bases, like the brown mask over here, I'm just putting that straight flat down. We're gonna probably use something like tree supports um, on all of these, uh, the red mask, all of that. The only big problem I'm gonna have is the white mask. Because of this huge like sniper scope lens thing on it, I am printing it facing up. This way everything top layers and looks a lot better. Uh, I, it'd be awesome if it was separated and I could print them you know, differently, that's fine. And then the other discrepancy is the uh, blue mask. Um, I'm not removing the visor. Again, I, these are wall decorations. I'm not gonna sit here, cut out the visor, and then try to put in a lens. Do I tint it blue? Do I tint it, what do I make it? So I'm just gonna print it all like this. Uh, he won't be able to see out of it if he wears this one, but again, I don't think he's gonna be like wearing them. They're just gonna look awesome on the wall. Also, the other thing I forgot to mention is these little pegs inside of the mask. This is for the Bionicle mask itself. Make sure you go and cut those out. Uh, what's nice is if you split the object, it should come apart on most of the masks, and then you can just delete it. If it doesn't work for you, drop it in a mesh mixer, and then you can kind of cut and extrude. Well, however you need to get rid of it, get rid of it, but it should work just by um, splitting it or separating shells or objects. So make sure you do that, unless you want to use a different type of mask in order to connect it. Speaking of the mask, this is the one I found and I've had it downloaded for a little while and I don't know where I got it. It was somewhere on Thingiverse and it's just a face mask that's gonna go over my own face and I, I don't know where the file is anymore. So if somebody knows where the link for this thing is, please let me know, I'll put it in the description. Um, but I found a very similar mask. You can print something like this, it's totally fine. You just need a, a, a surface to glue magnets to. Honestly, this one looks a little bit better. It has straps for elastic, it's a respirator, it has holes, so this probably would work better than what I downloaded, but I've already scaled and sized it. 
So we're just gonna print this one. All right, here is the G code for the sliced files and just the orientation, the tree supports. Now you can go and spend time and review and maybe I don't need supports here or densities or qualities. I'm doing this at pretty standard quality, standard speeds. I'm just running silk filament. Uh, so spend as much time with this as you want if you're doing this. The other thing I'm not really gonna cover is which printers I'm using and why. I have a lot of printers free right now. And uh, for example, this, uh, the brown mask will fit on the P1P or P1S. However, the black mask is too tall to fit on even the K1 max. So I'm gonna need to load up my Neptune 3 max. So I'm gonna get all of these printing at the same time. I just need to figure out which printers they're gonna go to. And you guys don't need to worry about that. Print them on whatever printer you can print them on. If you need to cut them up, cut them up or I guess buy a bigger printer. I don't know. I don't control you. Also, the other nice thing is not a single mask is using more than a single roll of filament. The blue mask is using 766 and I think the white mask uses 775. So you can get every single mask done. Six rolls of filament, six masks, which is pretty cool. I think you can do two brown masks off of one roll if I'm not crazy. Yeah, 478. So I can actually print two brown masks and uh, keep one for myself until I get more filament to print more for myself because I am absolutely making a set for myself. That's enough about the files. Let's get these sliced. I'll figure that out. And then it'll just be time lapses of them printing and me removing supports and all of that fun stuff. Yeah, go. They all came out incredible. So the last thing I'm doing now is gluing in some flat round magnets. You can get these off of Amazon in any size you want, whatever configuration. And I'm gluing the opposite versions of them to the little face mask. And I'm making sure I'm lining them up properly by putting one magnet on the mask, putting glue on it, and then pushing it in. This way the alignment's perfect and everybody wins. Then it's just adding some elastic straps or buckles and we're done. Okay, here are all of the masks done, and I love them. These came out so cool, but the plan is, he's gonna like open this mask first, he'll be like, wait, what is this? I put it on, okay. Uh, whoop. Okay, the mask is on, and you guys probably can't hear me, but he then gets to open and pull out the first mask, and oh, whoop, 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 easier said than done. And then it's on, oh my God. And you eagle-eyed viewers might already notice the Prusa Mark IV box here because if uh, 
if a Secret Santa gift doesn't have some humor in it, what's the point? So I'm going to send it all of this to him in this Prusa box. So he's going to think I sent him a Prusa at first. He'll quickly realize it's, it's not. Um, I wish I could get my hands on the Prusa tape, but that'll be fine. So let's get this boxed up. These two are going to be at the bottom, and I'm going to have them stacked. like So he has to pull, and then there's a the gold one. So we'll probably go in like color order. Since the black one fits so well initially, it'll just go on. Yep, that'll be it. Okay, cool. Let's get this boxed up. Okay, I have everything boxed up. Uh, the, the golden red mask are at the bottom, and then uh, green and blue, and then white and brown. And right here, I have a sticky note. Put this mask on first. Here's the mask. He'll put this on. I only wrapped the black mask because once he opens up the black mask, He's gonna know. He's, he's gonna know immediately that it's all the Bionicle masks. So I wrap that one up, we'll have it on, pull it out. Oh my God, put it on. And then he'll go through the whole cycle. So this is a lot of packing. It should survive, but let's get it, get it sent out. I'm so excited. Okay, hey from the future guys. Um, so Kenneth got his gift and we're about to watch that reaction, don't worry. But I don't wanna jump back to me again after you see the big reveal. Um, just a few uh, warnings. It is a live Discord call that we recorded over. So there's 20 people. There's a lot of background commentary and stuff. I did my best to chop it up. There was also a little bit of cursing because we're all friends and whatever, we have fun. I was able to blur and beep a lot of that out too, but it can be a little bit jarring. So I'm gonna wrap up this part of the video and then we'll get to the big reveal. That's totally fine. Uh, if you liked what you saw, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps me out a lot. And don't forget to ring the notification bell, do all that fun stuff. And if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about anything you saw in the video, Leave some comments down below. I read all of them and I will respond to as many as I possibly can. This was a really, really fun, unique build I was like just fortunate enough to do. I definitely want to start printing more stuff in silks and just doing really pretty projects like this and maybe some other like nostalgia based stuff, um, like more Power Ranger stuff or Beetleborgs or I'm not quite sure. Um, so we're gonna figure that out, but yeah, let's just get to the reveal. It was awesome. I'm so happy to have done it. Can't wait for next year. Um, and yeah, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. You have a good day. Who? Yeah. We have a cat in this? Am I, am I first? Am I real? Is that Congrats the on your new Prusa. Prusa. You are yep, first. first. This is the Prusa Mark IV from <laughs> oh my God. Hey, There's a beautiful mute button. Everybody mute. Uh, it says open this side, open this side. The delivery man delivered it upside down. I'm glad I saw that. Uh, for reference, my name's Kenneth. I make things on Instagram. I 3D print things. Uh, okay, what does All it say? Right. <laughs> There's instructions in here. Put, put on mask thinking. first. Do I need like a respirator? I'm not gonna uh -oh. put it. <laughs> this is what was underneath the put the put on mask. Feel, it feels 3D printed. It's a fucking cool mask. It's a Bakari, dude. That's <laughs> Bakari. Sick. What? No, it says mask. Oh, okay. Oh, it says mask. Oh, it magnetizes? Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. That's awesome. I, I it slots in. <laughs> it slots in. This is but someone have, with too much printer time. There's Matoro's mask. I forgot what this one's called. This it's is someone like, with too many big printers. There's Pohatus? Bro, are mm. all six in here? I, I feel like I know who this is. Do they all fit on the same color. mask? They all got the same magnet mounts. Bro, it's one of them. these colors. I was like, what the hell? <laughs> I don't have enough so desk real estate for this gift, dude. There's so many. Okay, there's two more, I think. Bro, Next. who had Kenneth, bro? You guys are spoiling him. There's no way. Oh my god. Oh. So oh, close there it is. <laughs> yeah. There it is. Bro's got the Bro, butt up a goal. These are perfect. Oh my god. I feel this has to be Frank, dude. Hi. This man's about to take a picture and go don't talk to me or my son ever again. You're That's, solid awesome. gold. That's incredible. Bro, That's incredible. Right. I gotta find like hey, these are my gold. Unless it's a taxi is that version the, when, is I, that when that I said it's 35 the That's it. That's it. It's just those. In the import report. It's just those many items.